What is up, guys? Um, welcome to this video. What uh, I'm going to be talking about today is uh, honestly supplements. So I got this package uh, from Revive uh, MD a little bit ago. I um, haven't opened it because I've been wanting to film it for you guys. But I want to open it, um, show you the supplements I'm picking up to take care of my health while I'm going through prep um, that I'll be you know, continuously taking throughout this time. Um, there'll be things that I like bring in, take out, just like as prep goes on. Uh, actually, not really going to take anything out, just but going to start bringing in some more stuff. Um, but anyways, we're going to be doing that. I want to go through it, show you what I got, explain why you would use it, what you're going to use it for, and then just kind of go forward from there. Um, then when I get home, I'll be taking all this, putting it into like my pill containers for morning, evening, and midday stuff. So, yeah, as of right now, let's just use our keys to try and open this bad boy. But, man, definitely, definitely should use like a knife or some scissors or something. So, oh, man, that's the, oh, right, that's the hardest box I've had to open in a minute. Okay. So, let's see. So, we got kidney, uh, glutamine. Gut Health Plus, standard multivitamin, vitamin K2, heart, lipid, liver, vitamin D3, omega, and then I do take fiber, but this fiber is actually for another one of my clients who's coming in today to pick it up. Sometimes we just pool um, our orders together so we don't have to pay double for shipping. Um, okay, so this is like the pretty much everything that I'm going to be taking. Um, the big things anyways. So let's uh, let's go through it. We'll just start at the simple one. <sighs> Multivitamin. Um, this honestly will cover just about all your micronutrient needs. Um, yeah, as far as vitamins, minerals, um, it's got a lot of extra stuff in it. That's why I like the one from Revive because um, if you look here, they've got like the standard multivitamin stuff. But then here is kind of this extra stuff that not all multivitamins are going to have that really help kind of accentuate your, honestly, performance with food, um, your health, metabolic, you know, your metabolism, and your mitochondria and all that. Um, so, like, for example, it's got um, NAC already in it, L-carnitine, acetyl-L-carnitine, so it can actually pass through um, your uh, gut lining and get into your bloodstream. Um, it's got green tea leaf extract in there, inositol, um, alpha-lipoic acid. So it's got a bunch of really good stuff in there that just doesn't come in, in like, say, like the Costco or the Walmart multivitamin that will help. One, save money just by using this instead of going and spending money on those. But then on top of that, um, you're not having to buy multiple supplements. Um, okay. Next one. Uh, let's talk about the Omega. Basically, it's, a, it's the right blend between um, your like Omega-3, Omega-6, and like all that to make sure that you have the appropriate amount of inflammation and anti-inflammation in your body so that you can form optimally, great for heart health, great for skin, hair, um, nails, just uh, all, all around good, but really good for your heart, really good for your organs. Um, yeah, so uh, honestly, I really like this one just because everything's in the right balance between the EPA, DHA, and the other omega-3s. So it makes sure that everything's just in the perfect amount for you. Um, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Probably say the next, we'll go, we'll go from like simple stuff to like more extracurricular stuff. So we'll, we'll keep the, uh, these ones out here. So vitamin D3. Why is vitamin D3 important? Um, because I'm white and I live in Utah and it's winter. And if I don't get enough vitamin D, I start to get sad and depressy. So supplement with vitamin D. Um, I recommend 10,000 IUs, which is two pills of these, um, a day. So that you can kind of supplement those needs, um, can avoid seasonal um, that's what is it? Seasonal affective disorder, um, which is basically when you get depressed during winter. 
Um, and then it just helps with immune and bone health and just overall it's probably one of the best vitamins that you can supplement with and everybody should be supplementing with it because none of us are getting nearly enough sun in order to not supplement with that. Um, okay, uh, vitamin K2 really goes well um, hand in hand with vitamin D3 because vitamin D3 will cause you to absorb a lot of calcium and you can build up too much calcium but vitamin K2 helps to make sure that you don't absorb too much calcium and get like any kind of calcification on arteries, veins, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, this is a good one to go hand in hand with vitamin D3. Bone and heart health, you know, helps prevent atherosclerosis um, with high vitamin D supplementation because you'll absorb a lot more calcium with that vitamin D. Um, okay, then from here, we'll go into uh, some of the health stuff for like your gut. So glutamine. Um, it's an amino acid. It supports um, the main reason that I take it. Like I know it says that it says like it's for immune health and muscle health and all that. I don't think you get too much for your muscles out of glutamine, honestly. But the gastrointestinal health. There are certain gut bacteria that you have in your gut that um, solely need glutamine to be in the right amounts. So if you're not getting enough glutamine in your diet, your gut balance could be off and you could be messed up. Um, it can cause bloating issues, allergy issues, not absorbing things correctly. So, you know, making sure that you're taking care of your gut health is super, super important, which then we also get into the actual gut health, which this one, um, essentially it's just, a, it's just a couple of supplements in here that just help with, um, digestion, just like simply with your gastrointestinal. It's just like a little bit of support. Um, I noticed that um, I experience less heartburn when I have this active and I'm using it in my plan, which occasionally I do get that, especially after beef meals and fatty meals. For some reason, I get a little bit of acid reflux. But when I have this, don't notice that as much. It keeps the stomach nice and calm. Um, okay, moving on to the next one. Lipid. This is a big one. A lot of people should be this, especially if you're an open, you know, a bodybuilder um, pushing the envelope on certain things. Um, this one is so important because you want to make sure that your cholesterol is good. The only way that you can know if your cholesterol is bad is through a blood test. Um, and then beyond that, like just this with all the supplements in it will help you to have the correct HDL, LDL total. Um, just make sure that everything is in the right balance so that you're not doing harm to your body. Um, not many people think about that and do that. Most people don't even check their blood. And then find out 10, 15 years down the road, uh, you know, you got atherosclerosis, you built up a lot of plaque and a lot of lipids along your arteries and veins, and now you are at risk for having a heart attack or your heart is mostly closed or whatever. Um, so we definitely want to do that. We want to take care of our arteries. We want to take care of our cholesterol, make sure that everything's in the correct amount and that we're not building up plaque along our heart lining. Okay. Heart. So this one's really good, really good for your heart health. Um, probably the big thing in here is the, the curcumin, turmeric extract, um, that really helps. It also has regina in it um, and a coenzyme Q10. So really, really good for your heart health and overall just making sure that blood pressure is well. Um, you're not having too much inflammation because that's how it actually works. So, like, um, so basically this takes care of the inflammation that you could be having systemically in your arteries and veins and stuff. Because what happens is you get inflammation you get irritation and then the cholesterol, the extra fats that you don't need because you're being irresponsible with your diet, then like collect at those points where there's damage to the arteries, um, to the wall lining. Um, and then it then calcifies over, um, which vitamin D3, vitamin K2 will help prevent as well. Um, but it will calcify over and then over time it turns that elastic membrane stiff and hard and then it's not able to function properly um, and eventually you could have some of the plaque because at that point it becomes plaque break off and then you got a ch solid chunk flying around your body could end up in your brain could end up in your heart heart attack stroke let's avoid all that okay liver um so the big one in this one is probably the tudka and nac um really really good for antioxidants really good for bile health, um, liver health, just making sure that 
uh, everything is going good with your liver and everything. Um, yeah. And um, the reason why that's important is because when you work out, when you get stressed, it can stress out your liver. Um, certain supplements that you take, um, certain extracurriculars that you take, alcohol, different things will stress out your liver. The more stressed your body is, the less responsive you will be to cardio training, uh, nutritional changes to lose fat. And if your stress is too high, you can hit plateaus and not be making progress at all. And we don't want that. We want to always consistently be making progress. So make sure that you're taking care of your organs and keeping them um, out of stress. Um, and then this one, I love this one, kidney. Um, this one it sucks a little bit because it's 12 pills in a freaking um, serving, but um, it's got a stragglus powder in it. Stragglus has been shown time and time again in studies to help with kidney function and protect your kidneys. Why is that important? Well, your liver, if you stop doing the stupid shit that you're doing, will heal. Your kidneys will not. Kidneys do not regenerate. Make sure that you are taking care of your kidneys from the outset. Do not wait for bad blood work on your kidneys to start taking care of them. Um, make sure that you have, keep your blood pressure good. Um, take some astragalus, take some kidney supplements, make sure that you're having good blood flow, you're filtering your blood out correctly, that you're creating enough urine and that everything's working well um, so that you don't end up boxing your kidneys out. Because once you have kidney failure, your life is essentially over. And especially any hopes that you have for being a bodybuilder are over at that point because you need your kidneys and you need them to stay healthy. So always, always, always take care of your kidneys. And then beyond this, guys, work with somebody who knows what to do, somebody who's able to help you. Sometimes that requires doctor intervention because sometimes you're going to need things more powerful than what we have here that we can get over the counter. Sometimes you're going to need prescription medications for your cholesterol or for your blood pressure. Um, I, for example, am taking Telmasartan for my blood pressure to make sure that um, it's not getting too high and also that I'm protecting my kidneys because it does have a kidney protective effect. It also has a little bit of an effect on the metabolism as well. Um, but what I would say is this is always a good place to start. Um, I am currently uh, having openings with coaching. So if you want to improve your health, if you want to maximize yourself as a bodybuilder, reduce stress, get better results than you've ever gotten before, um, please reach out to me. I'd love to help you. I'd love to line everything up so that everything moves smoothly and cleanly and that we don't have any issues with your health or with your training or with your growth, honestly. Um, but yeah, but also guys, um, just, uh, you know, keep following along with the prep. Keep, uh, keep shooting me any questions, anything that you want to know, anything that you want to see, let me know. Um, like, share, subscribe, um, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook, follow me on all the places that you can find me guys. Honestly, like I'd love to, to know you, love to get to know you, love to support you and have you support me. Then we can all, you know, continue on this journey together. But I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this. If you have any questions, pop them below, but I love you guys. Thank you for spending this time with me. Peace out. Bye.